Hi guys! Hi! I am Isabella. I'm Fabian. And together we are living Give It 4 by 4 Can you miss what you never have known? And can you ache for a place that was never yours? Yeah, we just wanted to give you in this video a little update uh, what happened to us. Things are shame like a moth to the flame. Uh, I was a little sick it is not corona uh, at least we a, hope still <laughs> we still hope uh, we are in the recovery phase or i am um, yesterday we were in another hospital and uh, did again a test and we will see the results after this weekend so cross your fingers out there that this is gone i still feel weak so basically we decided um, the last video you saw i think was in uh, morelia when i was in the hospital that's a long time ago um, mm -hmm. we decided from there on to uh, move well we moved yeah that's for sure but uh, before we also have friends that travel like that and we want to show you in this video also how they decided to spend their corona time quarantine check it out Ciao, beautiful people hi Fabian and Isabella thank you so much for inviting us to be part of your video we are Sara and Luca from Liu live everything in wonder for the past uh, three years uh, we have been traveling uh, from the Arctic Ocean, uh, that horse uh, Alaska, to the end of the world, uh, Ushuaia, Argentina, living full time in our old uh, vintage truck camper Lucky Liu. We are currently stuck in Patagonia, Argentina, confined to the police campground, completely isolated. We are spending our quarantine time here without the possibility to go back home. We are from Italy and there are no planes available right now to go back. But we try to stay positive. Despite uh, all the difficulties uh, and uh, the challenges, we love uh, to spread uh, good vibes. We try to make a lemonade out of lemons. So we are working out to keep our mind and our body healthy, we are cooking, we are taking care of straight animals like cats and dogs, we are cleaning our truck camper inside and outside, we did just a few weeks ago an interior makeover, we love and we support each other, we are lucky that we are together and last but not least we are creating contents. As content creators, uh, we strongly believe that the best thing we can do right now is uh, to create as many videos as possible, to entertain people and to give them uh, an escape moment from the reality we all are going through right now. With joy, positivity, love. We hope that all of you are safe right now. We love you guys. Remember that la vita è bella, life is beautiful. Please uh, check our YouTube channel, you leave everything in wonder. Fabiana and uh, Isabella, we hope to see you soon on the road. Stay safe. Uh, ciao. Ciao. Ciao Zara and Luca. Wow, your message. Thank you so much. Yes, we love each other. We have to love each other in those times. We have to stick together and uh, yeah, sports wouldn't hurt. You know, I'm gaining some weight here too. So thank you for your message and good luck in Argentina. I hope the police treats you well there. So now check out, uh, you know them, uh, who watches our channel, the Everlanders, uh, Kara and Jason, they also have an update for us. Robin. Hey Isabella. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we miss you guys a lot. Uh, just checking in from COVID pandemic 2020. Uh, we actually lucked out when we decided to stop. Uh, I needed to, to slow down to get some contract work done and I needed solid internet. And so we uh, decided to come hang out with our friends Flood Exploration here in the Oaxaca region. And uh, as luck would have it, we stopped at a, a Costco the day before, got all stocked up with all the stuff we needed. And uh, the timing was perfect because uh, once we pulled in, they put a no vacancy sign on the door and aren't accepting any new guests. So if you're in, you're in. If, you're, if you leave, you're out. So uh, we've got it pretty good. Uh, they're they're uh, very attentive to overlanding type of needs. They're bringing us uh, or arranged for bottled water delivery to be uh, delivered twice a week. Yeah, veggies also. We have fruits and veggies coming twice a week, and we can even deliver Walmart to our door, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so it is a pretty deluxe RV campground, uh, but as far as uh, avoiding a pandemic, it's a really great spot to slow down for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this campground's really well stocked with a uh, 
gazebo workout area, some exercise equipment, some of the other overlanders who have left before us. This is a rig from Great Britain that is in storage here as they're gone. And then our friends from, from Germany also went home on one of the flights. And the pool! In the beginning, there was a little more concern about, uh, you know, just distance from each other, but we've all been here over 30 days already. So that has calmed down somewhat. So yeah, this is all that remains. I think most of us uh, are hunkering down. Uh, we have no home to go to, the majority of us, so it is what it is. All right guys, so uh, that's uh, our situation. Hope you guys are well. Uh, hope everyone at home is well. I know it's a tough time for uh, everyone financially and everything else, so hope you're doing good. This is Jason and Kara from the Everlanders, signing off. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Jason and Kara. Uh, we miss you too. Check out Everlanders on Instagram, Patreon, Facebook, and their own webpage I saw, uh, everlanders.com. Um, yeah, and now we come to Kim and Darren uh, from Flood Exploration. We met Kim and Darren already a long time ago in the States. Oh, actually on Baja, California, where they started planning their rig. And uh, yeah, we love them. We spent last Easter time together. This year didn't work out because of COVID. But uh, next one, thank you. And check out Kim, uh, what she thinks of their campground. Hola from Floodex. We are in the state of Oaxaca, Mexico, and we are safe and secure, so all is good. Prior to us settling down here in this campground, we were touring the area, having a great time, but we thought, ah, uh, let's just stop and see what's going to happen, and we're so glad we did, because we are in the best campground we've ever been in all of Mexico. We have a pool, a common area, and a great community around us. There's about 25 other overlanders here. And unlike other times when you're overlanding and you don't get a chance to meet the people that you pass by every once in a while, this has given us an opportunity to really get to know those that are in the same situation as we are and have a little bit of a family and fun. We've been all behind these 10-foot walls for the last several weeks everyone is um, healthy and we have food and everything we need right here with no worries the only problem is that we can't travel and that's why we're on the road doing what we do do is because we like to travel and so we're getting a little itchy in that regards but we have other things that keep us busy like a wonderful musician family that plays every once in a while. They are wonderful to listen to. We all practice the um, keeping your distance and going out only when absolutely necessary, when something can't be delivered to us and we need to go out. So we're good, we're happy, and we hope everyone else out there is doing good as well. So thank you, Kim, for your update, Flood Exploration on Facebook and Instagram. Check them out. And uh, greetings also to Darren, a little camera shy, I guess. <laughs> now check out where finally we are ending up and uh, we show you this in that video. And yeah, see where we are. On Quintana Roo right now. Yes, um, beautiful Caribbean. <laughs> exactly, well, beautiful Caribbean and we don't see it, uh, even though we are really close. Unfortunately. <laughs> and uh, thank you, Liliana, for giving us uh, this house to, to stay for the next two months. Yeah. In a really safe area close to Puerto Morelos. Mm -hmm. And usually there's full of full of people, but right now it's empty and it's good. Mm -hmm. So we stay our two months here. For us, it was a long journey. Um, being sick in Morelia, which is in Michoacan, mm -hmm. uh, tried out the volcano, the mountains. I couldn't breathe. I thought I have Corona. I went to the hospital. I don't have it. It was a bacteria. We drove all the way from uh, Michoacan to in Quintana three days. Roo in three days this is what was really crazy it was just driving through beautiful mexico here in mexico they started to close the borders between the states and this is like different than how it was before traveling around here we were not sure when the border would be closed until merida or yucatan no? states and quintana roo and because of that we decided to do everything in three days 
A lot of people were saying, ah, be careful, there is control, police control, they are checking everybody and probably will not manage to get there. And because we get got to this house here in Quintana Road, then we did really fast. <laughs> so, yeah, it was so fast that, well, we stopped in Mexico City. Thank mm -hmm. you, Sebastian, to pick a stupid idea in Corona time, stopping Mexico City with that truck. But we somehow managed yeah. with with two hours driving in, following yeah. a guy and following out because we, we would have never found a place yeah. with that truck. <laughs> Anyways, then uh, on the way there, we only saw food trucks mm -hmm. and us. That's it. So we yeah. didn't see anything. Uh, we took the first time in our history the pay road. Ah, uh, Cuota. Cuota yeah. road. And there are like, you have to imagine those massive stands where you can drive through. And one of them, I think, it was mm -hmm. not true, one of them was yeah. even an official thing was closed, yeah. but it was open and there were like a whole bunch of kids and people from the area. And you need to give them money to the kids. You need to give them money instead pass. of the officials in order to pass. <laughs> so we even did that and it was lovely. Uh, I think they had a great time with us too. The times here are really different. We decided to have this house because we could not keep on traveling. A lot of places there is, like I said, control, police control, and we were not sure which area was the best to stay in case that things go really bad, if it would be food available, if it would be health uh, hospitals available to go or things like that, and because of that and then, and we end up here in Quintana Roo. But we can tell you, because I was yesterday back in the hospital for a checkup for the blood, beautiful hospitals, also Morelia, you can see that in another video yeah. of us on our YouTube channel, Morelia, perfect. It's not, it is not unsafe in Mexico. No, that's not at all. Not at so all. we take the time giving you updates, first of all, that's important. Yeah. Uh, we also want to rest anyways, mm -hmm. uh, have to fix this truck back there. So we ordered some stuff. So we are okay. That is for the update. And that's, uh, yeah, it's great that this community sticks together, the Overland community. True. And traveling is not bad, even mm -hmm. in Corona times. Uh, we wish you, first of all, hopefully everybody's safe at home, right? Mm -hmm. Hopefully no one has parents or grandparents that are sick. And if, hopefully they get better. See you when we see you. See you when we see you. Thank you. What you never have known And can you ache for a place that was never your home No misgivings or shame Like a moth to the flame To burn up or fizzle alone Can you know who inhabits your skin And can you trust that you won't blow away in the wind do you tether your hopes or let go of the ropes in the hope that you someday descend? Just follow. Trains. The heart always aims for the plane